Hi, my wonderful Cancers. I hope all is well. I decided on behalf of the upcoming Day of the Dead and this Halloween, I was going to give you ancestral messages, okay? Everyone knows that, well, most people know that in October, it's a great time to communicate with your ancestors. So I want to go ahead and give you some messages from your ancestors on what you should know closing out the year and walking into 2025. All right. Okay, Cancer. First message I'm getting is they're showing me the, the ancestor card from the Kipperish deck and they're showing me blood. They're saying that you're not separate from us. You need to remember that. You're not separate from us. Remember who you are. They're also showing me an image of, um, they're showing me an image of the Lion King. Remember when Nala, those of you who have seen it, Nala's walking through the pack of hy hyenas? They want you to keep your head up, okay? Many of you have had to walk through a group of hyenas, metaphorically, okay? Metaphorically. They want you to continue to keep your head up through the chaos, through those naysayers, all right? I'm hearing that for some of you cancer in 2025, closing out to 2024, they want you to know that these people are all talk, no bite. They can't touch you, okay? And I'm hearing they can't touch us. That MC, that can't touch this, <laughs> my ADHD. That MC Hammer song, can't touch this. They can't, they can't touch you, all right? So don't be scared, don't be scared, all right. I'm also getting something about you guys pick the wild card or you're going to be picking the wild card and that's a good decision. Pick the wild card in 2025. Pick the wild card. I don't know why I'm getting this, but someone says, um, Meemaw says hi. Your grandma says hi. That's for someone. Meemaw. That's very common. I know, but I'm li literally hearing that. What else do you want cancer to know? Closing out 2024 to 2025. Ooh. Okay. This car was sticking. Okay. Yeah. They want you to continue to focus on self love. They see you doing that because you have been, Cancer, you've been healing from some type of heartache right here. You've been healing from some type of heartache. And I feel like in, at times you might feel stuck, but you're actually going through a rebirth. All right. Your ancestors say you're going through a um, rebirth and you're going to hit a streak of luck for some of you that streak of luck is going to be in march 2025 all right um save this video something about march 2025 winter winter chicken dinner for some of you cancers all right tell me more <laughs> thank you holy spirit so cancer you're going to stumble upon you're going to you're going to stumble upon all the things that you need. Like they're showing me this card and I forget the name of the deck, but basically it's about a woman who's expecting to put something together and it's going to be hard. It's not going to be hard to you. It's not going to be hard for you. All right. In 2025, by the end of this year in 2024 or in 2025, what I'm getting is you stumbling upon all the things that you need to make something happen. All right. <laughs> I didn't see it. So they're telling you to keep it up. Ah, I didn't see that. They're telling you to keep it up. Um, I don't know why I'm seeing this, but I'm seeing, I'm, it's, it's basically, what is that? What is it called? Um, all stars. Is it all stars? Is that a, hopefully this is not any children watching this video because this is not for children. But what I'm seeing is All Stars is like, what, is it a strip club or like a Hooters or something like that? I'm seeing something about like a an All Stars where the waitresses dress skimpy. Something about a fight breaking out. They're saying ditch that loser. That's for someone here. Okay, that's not for everyone. Something about a fight breaking out at like a strip club or one of those Hooter type places. Ditch that loser. All right. What other messages for cancer? We have the black cat, lost magic, 
rebirth right here, okay? You're going to you're going through a rebirth. You're going to find the lost magic. They they're encouraging you to find that lost mass magic within you because your blood there's a lot of wisdom in your blood. They're showing me a tree with like a DNA strand. There's a lot of wisdom in your blood, all right? Use that gift of discernment. They're showing me a woman meditating. Make sure that you're meditating more. Many of you really need to meditate more, all right? Because they've been trying, and I'm seeing someone whispering here. They're trying to tell you something. They've been trying to tell you something like they're, but you're not listening. For some of you, you're not listening because you don't take time to stay still. And they understand on the earth realm, you know, that you got bills, you got all this other stuff that you got to deal with. But I'm hearing things are unfolding swimmingly. There's something about a life insurance policy for someone here. They're saying yes. I don't know what this is. Next one. Someone here needs to know you're not disabled, you're um, gifted. Someone needs to hear this. They're showing me a scene of Finding Nemo where if Nemo has like a short fin. You know, Nemo had a little short fin, right? And he had to learn to, you know, move around in that water with a short fin, but then his father was very overprotective of Nemo. That's what they're showing, showing me. They're trying to tell you, that she, this is for someone, you're not disabled, you're gifted. That's your power, that's your superpower. Next message. I don't know why I'm seeing people stumping in mud. <laughs> There's some there's something to do with like a mud um a mud run. Something about a mud run in 20, 20, 2025. A mud run. Something going on with mud run, I'm getting. If you're thinking about going to a mud run, you should do it. Like uh, I've never been to those, but you like run around and you get all muddy. That's significant for someone here. What else is happening? We have Violet Angel right here. It says breaking dawn right here. The power of three. There's something significant happening during the daytime with three people. What is this? There's something significant happening in the morning time with three people. Let me see what this is. I'm seeing three arrests. I keep getting this over and over again. Guys, I don't know why I keep getting this message. This is spiritual jail. Something, I don't know. What's happening? And then they're showing me um, that show in Twilight with the vampire. You guys were dealing with a vampire? Yeah. There's something about a trap. Um, there's something about a trap. And someone's going to see clearly, like you're going to see clearly. Someone's going to see clearly when it came to three people trying to put some type of trap on you. Like they're going to see, they want you to know that they're going to be seen clearly. And I'm seeing the justice card as well. They're seeing you as the Phoenix rising. All right. You're also being hooked up with a new love interest for you. For some of you that are, have been looking for love, they're working on it. Your ancestors are communicating with someone else's ancestors. Um, some of you, some of you, I don't know if you're going to like it or not, but you guys have like some type of spiritual arranged marriage, honey. Okay. His ancestors and your ancestors are communicating and they're hooking you up because they want to come together. All right. They're saying this is not a choice, baby, <laughs> but you're going to like it. You're going to like it. So there's a need for you to keep your vessel, uh, pure, stay pure, practice celibacy. There's something about that. This is confirmation if you've already felt that way. They're, they're setting you up with someone. I'm seeing, I'm seeing um, the courtship card of the kicker, kipper deck, and I'm seeing a Cupid's arrow. I'm seeing May. This may happen in May, or this person's born in May. I'm seeing May. We have theft right here. They're reversing theft because this came out in reverse. They're, they're reversing theft right here, all right? They want you to know that this theft, you spent a lot of like experienced a lot of theft loss this was a part of your spiritual initiation all right i know we don't want to hear that but it's a part of your spiritual in initiation 
I'm hearing also you're about to make people big mad, all right? You're about to start making people big mad. Don't worry about it. Yeah, this is why you're about to start making people big mad, Cancer. Look at this. Look at all this money. You're about to be a wealthy man or a wealthy, a wealthy woman. For some reason, I'm getting something to do with um, May West. That significant May West, the May West story. I think May West had a wealthy woman help her. You got a karmic child that is um, stressed. They're stressed. Yeah. They also want you to know that you got a lot of people hating right here because you graduated, honey. Look at that. You you passed some type of spiritual initiation right here. You graduated. All right. You also have some man. If you're a man, this is the opposite sex. Sex, a female. But. You know, technically in the spiritual realm, what is this like? We're, I'm reading energy, a masculine and a feminine energy right here. We have something about a male thinking about you in 2025. They're about to take some type of risk. It's about to make some type of karmic upset. They're about to take a risk in investing in you, okay? If you've been feeling like you, if you've been feeling intuitively that there's going to be someone investing in you cancer you're correct someone's about to come and invest in you baby so keep doing what you're doing all right you got a divine inheritance and you got somebody sitting on the couch overeating what's that ah no i'm hearing mock my words yeah look i just said overeating oh my gosh look at this it's on the floor, guys, and I can't pick it up. <laughs> you got someone upset and overeating, okay? They're going to be upset. They're going to be in their feelings, and all they're going to be doing is sitting around eating, okay? That's what you got. Tell me more about what's going on with cancer, what you want cancer to know with these messages. I keep hearing, don't take his ass back. Some of you cancers really need to learn to let people go, all right? Don't take someone back that keeps hurting you, all right? Do not take this person's back. You got somebody coming back. I know I keep getting this in my reading over and over again. It's very annoying. Trust me, it's annoying. And like I say, with my videos, if you're an ex of mine, don't bring your ass back. If you watch my videos, we've dated, whatever. <laughs> Ex-husbands, ex No. It's no. All right? And that's how you need to be. It's not, it's not, even, it's not even a no. It's a hell no. <laughs> and that's how you need to be, Okay? Next message of what you want cancer to know. A secret's about to be revealed to you. You're showing me the veil. Yeah. Your soul has returned to learn many lessons. This is about a karmic lesson. They want you to know that your soul has your soul has come here to learn many lessons. And one of your lessons that you are meant to learn, Cancer, is to get into that Aquarius energy you're not and i'm hearing um that song they not like us they not like us they're you're you're a different batch you're a different breed all right you're not like the people around you you've come here to do something different so do it different do it different okay and do it big i'm also getting something about bladder bladder cancer removed for someone here They've been standing by your bed. The, the bladder cancer is going to be removed. This is for someone. We have Neptune right here. Illusions. Let's see. Let's see what's going on with this Neptune energy. Okay. They want you to drop the illusions when it comes to your first house. All right. You got it. All right. You got it. Like you have some type of distorted thinking about how you see yourself. People don't see this, see you the way you see yourself. When you start seeing yourself like distortedly, like that negative view, people don't see that. They want you to know that. People don't see that. That's all you. They see brilliance. They see excellence. For some of them, they see pressure, honey. You pressure, all right? You pressure. And they're saying it again. They're not like us. I keep getting that. They're not like us. They've been jealous of, of us. All right? These people around you, they've been jealous of you. Y'all have had some lifetimes together. They've been jealous of you. All right? They're jealous of you because you can't stand the... They, they can't stand the rain. 
they can't stand when things get hard. You have such a powerful, big presence in the spiritual world. I'm seeing someone lifting a big weight. Like, you can do that. They can't. All right? So they try to shrink you down. Don't let them do that. Next message. Oops. Next message. Uh, 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 uh. We have Pisces right here. Okay, what's going on with this Pisces? <laughs> yes. Okay. There could be a Pisces that's going to be helping you with your material wealth right here. We have, um, and I'm also getting something about a new car. You're going to be getting a new car. If you've been wanting a new car, you're going to be getting a new car. There's something about a, specifically a yellow car. I keep seeing yellow cars. There's something going on with a yellow car for someone, but I'm getting something about there's going to be a Pisces that's going to help you with some type of luxuries, helping you get on. And I was just talking about how someone's going to help you. But also there, there's a reminder of, hey, you have an intuitive nudge that something's going to happen where you're going to be getting some money. You're correct. They're saying this is your divine her inheritance. All right. Cancer, you're receiving your divine her inheritance. Those of you who have been doing your work, you should be receiving your divine her inheritance in 2025. Like I said, we are all in different time periods spiritually, different stages of um, spiritual growth. But many will receive their divine inheritance by the end of 2024 or in 2025. So I'm hearing so congratulations. And they're showing me a person who got out of their shell. All right. Yeah. We have expectations not met right here with bad health. Some of you have been dealing with, some of you have been dealing with like expecting something and it's not met. Like your expectations have not been met. So it's kind of put you in bad, bad health. They're saying lose control. Stop being in control. Stop trying to be in control. Loosen control. Like lose control so that they can go ahead and do what they need to do and step in and help you. Someone also failed a spiritual gift. I mean, spiritual, um, I want to say spiritual gift. Someone failed a spiritual test when I was looking at the, it's not you. Someone's failed a spiritual test and their ancestors are talking, like communicating. This could be your ex. Yeah. This has something to do with you healing your heart. Someone that hurts your heart, it's like they, um, spelled failed a spiritual test and now like their ancestors are communicating on how to fix it well not not fix it but um yeah fix it for you they're in like spiritual jail whoever this is i'm seeing a libra libra energy this person could have a libra pace placement aquarius um sagittarius pisces cancer leo I'm hearing Divine Justice, the first name of my channel. Yeah, this person's a male, a masculine that's been thinking of you. They're actually probably going to be traveling to you. I'm getting as well. All right. All right. Let me go ahead and close the reading. The last message and we will be done with your ancestral messages. All right. Last message for cancer. I'm hearing remember who you are. Okay. Honor and trust your feelings. All right. Don't let somebody think that somebody tell you, oh, well, what you're feeling is wrong or maybe shame you for feeling a certain way. They want you to honor your feelings. All right. They say honoring yourself honors your ancestors. Don't disrespect yourself because you disrespect them and they don't like that. Next one. Winter. What's happening with winter? Winter. There's about to be a change. We have blessed change. Cancer, for some of you, expect a blessed change this winter, all right? So continue to express yourself. Yeah. And let yourself receive this, baby. Let yourself um, receive this. We have healing, healed, and healer, all right? They're healing something for you. They're healing this situation for you, all right? Okay. That is all I have for you, my wonderful Cancers. I'm also seeing a ladybug. Ladybugs symbolize luck. Love you all and have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful evening. Bye-bye.